I'm about to give you my honest thoughts on benzodiazepines. These are medications like Xanax and Valium, and this might upset a few people. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where we are diving deep into the topic of anxiety. And today I am focusing on some of the most commonly prescribed medications for anxiety. Now, do me a favor and please, please, please share this video. I'm gonna be talking about some very, very important information regarding these medications that people often take to help with their anxiety or their panic disorders. All right, so first, let's talk about how these medications actually work. Before I dive into that, let's actually talk about how anxiety works. So anxiety is caused by an overactive amygdala. That is the part of your brain responsible for fight, flight, or freeze. When your anxiety kicks in, it is releasing a lot of stress hormones in your body. You get a rush of adrenaline, you can have a beating heart, you can have racing thoughts, you can be sweating, dilated pupils, all sorts of things, okay? Now, the way that these benzodiazepines work, like Xanax, and volume is that they go straight to the amygdala and they tranquilize it, okay? They calm it down. One of the reasons why these are prescribed so, so, so much is because they are fast acting. But the issue is that they come with a price. These are narcotic medications, okay? Any medication that is labeled a narcotic means that it has the potential of becoming addictive. And the problem is, is that the way that we're prescribing these medications has risen insanely, insanely over the last couple decades. Like, I was just reading some articles on this, and this was a study from 2015. Now, one of the reasons why people develop an addiction to these medications is because they're given for long-term 